Hello everybody, Conodger here. Welcome to the F1 2013. We are in 2013, right? Yeah, still. Okay. 2013 co-op with me, Conodger, and... Me, Jolo. We are at both of our favorite tracks, it seems. Uh, we always say this, but we don't ever really do exceptionally well here. It doesn't always translate to good performance. It's just a fun track to drive. That is Montreal, Canada. Let's see. Canada. Canada. Where we previously sung the Canadian anthem incorrectly <laughs> and probably lost dozens of followers. Anyway. <laughs> Which is like 90% of mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just go out. I think our pace is going to be really good here, so probably just yeah. going to go out on track, set a lap, and end Q1. Yeah, I just want to get one or two in. Hey, oh, for the first session, we don't even... Yeah, I'm, I, might, I think I might one will be good. Kind of do a lap. Breeze through until Q3. I know you. You don't. You don't have that ability. You're just going to go and Stay knock the front wing off of it. I, I have some be behind-the-scenes <laughs> knowledge of somebody knocking their wing off twice in the 13 minutes of practice we did without completing a single lap. <laughs> it's much sunnier now. It was. It was cloudy in practice. Yeah, I'm not liking it. It's um. It's in my eyes. It's brightening the screen and making it run a little slower. <laughs> <coughs> when the sun affects <laughs> your frame rate, right, you got problems. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not used to racing in the sun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Segue. Because we're now, what, like, less than 12 hours removed? Yeah. From doing a nighttime autocross? Yeah. I think it was freaking cool. Yeah, it was fun. I was like, um, it was, I've never been as non-concerned about being competitive as I was that night. Yeah. I was just like, I don't even care. This is just fun. I really want to see people's reactions to my video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the other people that were there. Because mm -hmm. I don't think people understood just how bad my headlights were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, actually. Like, DJ was... He's, it, dude, how did you even know where they were? I, I can only see, like, two cones, period. <laughs> did you see what I did on my first run? Your yeah, first run, I didn't notice. I forgot to turn my brights on. Oh, I don't... And the front windshield was dirty. I don't have brights. I couldn't see anything. So, yeah. Somebody suggested that, and I was like, I turned them on, and they were like, oh, never mind. Because the front core support is all messed up on that car, the headlights hang incorrectly. Yours? Yeah. Oh, what's Some, wrong with the It's all... It, that car was crashed. Oh. So the high, the regular beams kind of are at the level the high beams are, should be at, like height-wise. Mm -hmm. So the high beams just kind of like spot owls and trees. <laughs> if the cones were like the three-foot-tall ones, it would have been perfect. I'm in second place, only behind Duresta. So I feel like I'd like another lap. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a second lap. But one. I'm in traffic. So I didn't I'm really even pay attention to the first lap. Yeah, what you got us talking about? I went purple sixty one. Trust me, it doesn't. Oh, now Sutil's at first. Yeah, we're definitely putting in another lap. I feel like this could be Maldonado in front of me. No good can come from that. I slowed down so that I would miss traffic and then everyone comes out of the pits. <laughs> and then Hamilton wants to stay in the racing line. 
All right, well, this one should do it. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Come on. Looks like we're close to using the load. Pit in within two laps. Well, I went purple in sector one and then went off. Apparently, I'm close to using the load. Fantastic. Now what? The yep. Lap. That's what they told me. I don't even know what that means. I think the fuel load, pretty sure. Oh. Your tires are at a good temperature. Either that or I was just really, really excited about that lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I ran out of fuel. Crap. Uh, All you're, right. you're in good shape. Don't worry about it. I almost went to quit session. Whoops. Don't do that. Drop to fifth. Meh. I'm a second off you. You. I couldn't get a clean lap there. My highest lateral G-force is 5.94. It's lat lateral side to side, right? Yeah. yeah. I want to see what the... Uh, what's the front to back? <laughs> longitudinal. longitudinal. Yeah, let's see what the longitudinal is after that pit road entry. <laughs> 600 G. 15.74. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually literally dead. Come on, come on. There's a little setup change. Do need to go to mix three and get a little more fuel. Yeah, in. I needed one more lap well, would have been nice. You requested. I'll try All complete. We're ready. <clears throat> Snipe the first spotter on the track. Oh man. You know what else Monaco did? <laughs> I set a fast lap. Did you really? <laughs> We're tied on fast laps. <laughs> And it was oh. so legitimate, too. I'm so proud of you right now. Be careful not to drive over the white line when coming out of the pits, or you'll get a penalty. It's like I told you yesterday. You're a good driver, but I know how to play the games. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> Why do you even have to bring it up? Now I'm mad again. I'm gonna drive like crap. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Though I think I was way angrier at you wrecking me than I was you cheating. I didn't wreck you. Oh, you're talking about the last time I did that. Yeah. yeah. The time that you claim I wrecked you. That the world will just never know. What really happened? What's your top speed? Are these miles per hour yet? Are you still using kilometers? I think I switched to miles per hour. I don't. I can't hit it here though. Can't hit what? Top speed. Uh, according to the thing, it's like 205. These tires do not feel that much grippier. Nope. They don't. Of course, we are the first ones out on track this session. That's but true. it should be a little... Not as green from last one. I do feel like I do better on these tires, though. It's a little bit more security. Yeah. Weber, really, really. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your draft just because of that. <laughs> There was 200, I think. Nearly killed me in the chicane, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Look at that time, whenever it pops up on your screen. 15.62. Wow, it actually popped up on your screen. Immediately. Move, Sutil! Seriously? He's been in our way the entire time here. <laughs> ah, he's not even on a fast lap. 
He came out of the pit in front of me. Uh, all right. Now is the important one. <clears throat> the marbles are on the table. What? Don't blow your load. <laughs> All right, so I need Vettel to do poorly. We all need Hamilton. To do Everybody poorly. needs Hamilton to do poorly. We need Rosberg to just explode. Some crazy fireball that he gets out of in time, so he's not hurt. So people aren't like, "You're so mean, Joe." Because <laughs> you know everyone's gonna think it. They're like, "Man, Joe's a mean guy. He's just gonna wishing people dead and blah 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 and blow him up and blah blah blah." So, you know, I'm sitting here thinking this isn't a very good Formula 1 team if they're just like leaving wrenches all over the floor. Yeah, they're a little messy. <laughs> they're like me. I should just start the day by taking all my tools out of my toolbox at work. Putting them all around the car. And putting them all on top of the toolbox. <laughs> because that is exactly how the day ends. All right, make the changes. You actually up. get done working at about three o'clock. Yeah. Just takes two hours for our tools back. Yeah. Why is everyone kicking up so much smoke? I know. I get out before you. Is that you right behind me? I am. Um, no. I'm at the exit. Oh no, I'm already out. Oh. Are you in front of a Ferrari? I am. Oh, you're first one out, or not first one out, but. All right, I'm behind the Ferrari. All right, now that I've adjusted my fuel. No pressure or anything, but I think this is like a first lap or nothing. Yeah. Tires seem to be like, after the first one, they're just like the other ones. They're like the old qualifying tires that were so soft after one lap they would be done. Yeah. The good old days of Formula One. And there was a 10 second gap between qualifying and race times. Yeah. <laughs> I have been so greedy with the chicane and it has not bit me yet. It is going to happen. Oh, I'm super conservative and it's gonna get me. I'm hitting all the white curb. Ooh, that was wide. I'm wondering if I should abort this lap. I could have made up for it through there. Oh man, you can't get a better turn one than that. That's where I kind of blew it. Ooh. Almost messed up in that first game. Purple Zick 2. <laughs> I love when you do that to make fun of me. That tone of voice. It's like a <laughs> Winnie the Pooh type thing. <laughs> oh, that was super greedy. Seems to have worked. One fifteen two. Yeah, but if I try that crap in the race, the Wall yeah. of Champions will have another victim. <laughs> it's got my number. Oh, oh, jeez! Oh, oh, I was airborne. <laughs> oh, wow. I'd say that's gonna be my laps because I just uh, knocked the front wing off. Do we have an extra set? Front wings? Of tires. Front wings are probably on a, on a pretty damn big shortage right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably out. Oh, I see your front wing. Could you pick it up? I think we're going to need it. 
Well, I'm glad that grip kicked in right at that second or I was going into the wall. <laughs> I was like in a slide and then it just like caught. I have it geared so that my uh, upshift into seventh or into sixth gear coincides with the DRS button. Well, that works out nicely. Yeah. So every time I go to sixth, I know to hit the button. Come on, come on. Oh, now I'm in traffic. Are you putting another one in? I'm gonna try one. I'm in traffic. There's a 14 in it, but it'd have to be perfect. I was putting 14s in practice, but it takes it takes perfect setups or like everything to coincide and align correctly. Brakes, optimal temperature. That's the one thing about practice is it's set so that you're in the perfect time every time. Right. Like your tires are perfect temperature every lap. So one of the bad things about practice. Unless you do like a full race practice or something. Three minutes to go. It's good for track memorization. That's pretty much it. Well, I could have sworn that was a better sector one, but it wasn't. Right. That wasn't better there. to gear. You must have improved your time because they told me you were in second. Yeah, I bumped up to second. Just gonna give it one last stab, see if I can... Because that's all the fuel I've got and there's no way I'll have enough time to go back. That should have been better through there. Alright, if this is not a better Sector 1, then... Shenanigans. <laughs> Ooh, I almost spun out. Wow. Alright. I don't know Chicane, if that was game or what. My engine made this, like, horrid noise. Oh god, I missed it. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, I hit the other wall. All right, so uh, P2 is good for me. <laughs> wow. Oh. So uh, that chicane had my number again. Yeah, huh? Ooh. One minute to go. Should be able to spec. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I was like, I should be able to spectate, and I was about to say, wow, it picked you on the first go, and, and I heard you. Bam! <laughs> the funniest thing was, you hit the wall, and then started driving, and then the front wing went, kaboosh! <laughs> like, it made the noise where it falls off, and it all just, like, disintegrated. But you had already hit the wall and driven off. Alright, so we'll be starting the race from P1 and P2, so it looks like this race, wow, and uh, you were... Seven, eight tenths eight tenth. ahead of me, and I was eight tenths ahead of Hamilton, so... You were one tenth ahead of Hamilton. Oh, is that... Oh, okay, it's doing... My bad, I thought it was doing it like it did the other points. All right, so... I'm tenth ahead of him, and then it's close behind that, so... I don't know, either way... Either way, we have a we'll good do shot. Our, yes. Well, look at that, we acknowledge each other's existence. <laughs> There. No, if I'd ever hug you like that. <laughs> mm. P2. 